Hello everyone, welcome to ENK Academy. Today's video is about standard form, as called in the United Kingdom. Other places, this is called scientific notation. During this video, I'm going to use the term standard form. At the end of this video, you should be able to write any number in standard form or scientific notation. So given a number 700, this can be written as 7 times 100. And we know that 100 is actually 10 in the power of 2. And thus, the number 700 can be written as 7 times 10 in the power of 2. We can define a standard form as a number having two parts. Well, the first part is a number greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. In our case here, we have 7, which is greater than 1, but less than 10. The second part is the power of 10. So per definition, when you write a number in standard form, it's putting the number in two parts, where the first part is a number that is greater or equal to 1, but less than 10, in this case is A, and the second part is a number which is a power of 10. So this notation is useful for working with very large and very small numbers. So let's now dig into how this works. So imagine we have 920,000 and you are asked to write this number in standard form. So what we see the number here is that we need the first part to be greater than one, but less than 10. In this case here, we will say, if we cut this number here, we will have nine, which is greater than one, but then nine is less than 10. That means the remaining part will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That means this number can be read as 9.2 times 10 in the power of 5. What we notice here is that this number is greater than 10, so the power is positive. On the other side, we have a decimal number less than one. What we need is to identify the first digit that is different from zero. In this case, we have seven. That means we need a number with the seven, and this number should be, this first part should be above one or equal to one, but less than 10. That means we need to move our comma into the new position here. So we can count one, two, three. That means this number can be written as 7.03 and then we have the power of minus three. The reason why it is minus three is because we are moving the dots and the number is less than one. So because this number is less than one, the power is negative. To convert an ordinary number in standard form, you can just count decimal places. So let's take a standard example, 7,900. So we need to isolate the first part to be less than 10. That means we will have 7.9, and then we move that bar one, two, three, that gives us this number times 10 in the power of three. So what we notice here is that this number is greater than 10. That is why the power is positive. On the other side, we identify the first digit different from zero. That means we need to move that dot one, two, three and four, and then we will have 3.5 times 10 in the power 
of minus 4, and this is minus 4 negative because this number is less than 1. That means we are just counting decimal places. So this can be very handy in situation where you need to apply multiplication or division. On this side, we have 3 times 10 in the power 3 multiplied by 5 times 10 in the power of 6. What you can do is to take the digit and then multiply them together. At the same time, you take the power side, multiply them as well. This one will be 15 times, and if you remember, when dealing with power, if you have ax times ay, that will be ax plus y. In this case, we have 10 in the power of 3 plus 6, which is 15 times 10 in the power of 9. What we notice here, this number 15 is more than 10. So what we need is actually to bring the comma over here. So we write 1.5 times, because we did it one time, 10, 10 times 9. So we add 1 plus 9. So we have 1.5, 10 in the power of 10. On the other side, we can apply division. The way we can do this, that will be, we can divide this one by this one, and then the power of 10 by the power of 10. So we have 1.2 divided by 2, and then times 10 in the power of 8, divided by 10 in the power of 4. 1.2 divided by 2 will give 0 0.6 times. When you divide the number with the same base and different power, what you do, you take 10 and then subtract the exponent. What we get at the end is 0 0.6 times 10 in the power of 4. The first part should be above 1, but below 10. This is not the case, so we need to move this dot over here one time. So we have 6, because the number is less than 1, so we have a negative power times 10 in the power of 4. And then in this case, we have 6 times minus 1 plus 4, which is 10 in the power of 3. And this is the result of our division in standard form. You may also be in situation where you need to convert a number in standard form into an ordinary number. You need first to look at the sign of the power. If the power is positive, then you move the decimal to the right. In this case, 6.1, we move this one one time, and then twice, adding 0, 3 times, 4 times, and 5 times, giving us 610,000 as an ordinary number. We can also have 302 times 10 to the power of 2, because 2 is positive, that means we move it to the right, and then what we get is 1, 2, and then the expression is 302. In case we have a negative power, then we need to move the decimal to the left. In case of 6.1, we move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the number is 0 
0.00061 as a decimal number. You can also have 3.02 times 10 in the power of minus 2 because this is negative. So we move the decimal to the left. We will have here 1, 2, and then the number is 0, 3, or 2 as the standard number. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe and support this academy.